WTF, my crafty friends, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky DIY, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba, Canada. Today we are making a Joyfold M fold. Um, our fold base is going to create an M, and we're also putting a little bit of a spin on it, um, similar to what you would do for a Joyfold card. So I have a piece of Parakeet Party, which will be retiring at the end of April 2024, um, it's 11 and a half by five and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter, six and a half, and eight and a half. Um, and then our folds are Valley, Mountain Valley. The four and a quarter inch piece is going to be the inside of our card. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've got the Daisy Designer Series paper, which is also retiring soon. Um, I've got a four, nope try that again five and a quarter yeah five and a quarter by half an inch um these are all five and a quarter high and I've got an inch and three quarters two and two quarters and a two inch piece so our designer series paper is going to be placed thusly um so we're going to start with this guy oh and I've also got two pieces um of cardstock we've got Parakeet Party is four inches by three, and this is three and three quarters by two and three quarters. And now we're just gonna grab our adhesive and start adhesiving. So this piece is gonna go in here like uh, this. Aim for centered-ish. Actually, I'm gonna stick this guy down before it leaves me because if you've been here for five seconds you really you know that stuff tends to vanish before my very eyes because craft room gremlins they're a thing all right so there's our inside piece there's our outside piece we are going to put this guy nope this guy yep okay this one is going to go on the inside now you can use either piece of or either side of the paper whichever you prefer I'm doing this because I really love this um, pretty peacock and then on the inside whoops oh, no idea where that silver paper came from um, you know what on this side I think we are going to do the daisy just to give it a little bit of a different look now the stamp set that I've chosen today is inked and tiled um, I'm using the bigger flower and I am also using the hello friend sentiment so there's our card base pretty much done all of our card stock is adhered now we're going to do our sentiment we're not going to do anything with this it's just going to be our matte layer for the white and I'm going to grab a post-it note or two just to kind of protect my workspace from any overage that I might have from the ink. All right, so I've got the biggest flower from Inked and Tiled, and I've got two markers. Um, I find I like to use the markers when I'm doing a two-tone stamp. I find that I get better coverage, um, and it lets me be a little bit more precise in the ink application. You could also use an ink pad um, and then just cover up the bits that you don't want with either a post-it note um, or masking paper would do the trick as well. All right, so we've got that. Um, this one was Gorgeous Grape. And then I've got Garden Green as our stem color. I like to use the brush end and I like to give it, I'm not sure how much of this leaf is going to show actually. I like to use the side of the brush just because it gives me a little bit more control and a little bit better coverage. Now these are water-based markers and they will stay good to go for a while, but I will give it just a quick blast of air before I go ahead and put it on our white just a quick and of course because that's the way it goes in Andrea's craft room all right so we got some green we're flipping it over doing it on the other side making sure it's pushed down 
Because, you know, if you can't go with the flow in your craft room, where else can you go with the flow? All right, so I do this and we're gonna angle it this way a bit and press straight up, straight down. Get rid of the post-it notes. And then we are going to, what color are we gonna stamp in? You know what, I have my garden green. Actually, no, there's a lot of green going on here. We're gonna do Highland Heather, which is a little bit lighter. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the craft room gremlins in here today, but they don't want me to create. All right, hello friend. And then we're gonna bling it up because that's just what we need to do. We've got a few little mock-ups there that we need to fix. And we're just gonna randomly place gems, kind of cover up. Actually, that looks really cute there. So we're just gonna kind of continue the pattern. I like odd numbers when I am adding adhesives, um, adhesives, gems. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do one more kind of going up. And you can't even tell where the green ink hit. Okay, we're gonna grab dimensionals. That's the good thing about stamping up cardstock too. Even on the white, if you make a mistake, you can easily flip it over um, and you're not gonna see that color transfer through to the other side. The stamps, the ink, um, and the cardstock, totally the best part of stamping up. Now I'm going to center-ish. Now this is cut at four inches wide, so it will go onto your card, um, but you wanna make sure that you're not going to have it attach or be glued where you want it to open. So my favorite idea for that is just to place some adhesive roughly in the center where it's going to be, slightly smaller than your piece, and then just kind of hover it until it's where you want it to be, and then give it a push down, and then open up, and your M fold is good to go. So you do have tons of space to write a message. If you leave this piece off, you have even more room to write a letter or a note. Um, so if you try this card, I would love to see your results. Pop it on over to my Facebook page. And if you have any questions at all, please comment down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and to like this video so you're notified every time more crafty goodness is posted. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.